So I went ahead and I added another peripheral um, that was that will control that could control the LCD uh, contrast. Um, another DAC style device I've been playing around with is uh, an I2C based um, digital to analog converter. Um, basically, um, it's another serial device, just like the uh, SPI um, device that I was showing you in, in one of my last videos. Um, in this case, we're just dealing with uh, two lines, serial data and serial clock, SDA and SCL. Um, the difference between this and the SPI hybrid interface is that uh, this more or less acknowledges um, the commands that you put through every time you uh, every time you put in like eight bits of data. Uh, the ninth bit would be what's called an acknowledgement, um, and that more or less is where the um, <clears throat> the slave I2C device, which is um, what we're communicating with the I2C device, acknowledging the command. So that way we can track and ensure that everything that we're sending in is in fact um, getting acknowledged by the device. Um, so again, as you can see here, uh, you can see that I have some dotted lines where I believe what I had in my test bench was actually a yeah, in my test bench, what I have is a, um, I have it set to an L, which is a weak pull down. And the reason I'm doing that is because uh, it's just kind of showing where the acknowledgements are being stored. Um, as you can see, these four lines on the bottom, I'm actually, con you know, I'm, I'm more or less changing those values from ones to zeros. And in the very end, I have this uh, this confirm line that you can see right here. So when it sees all four of the lines are low, the confirmation line will go high, stating that it, it did in fact acknowledge all the communications correctly. Um, what I did here is uh, I'm going to do something very similar to one of the last videos. As you can see, I have the multimeter hooked up again and it's hooked into the contrast pen and in this case we're, we have here is we have this wire that's going down to this I2C device and I got this breakout board from sparkfun.com um, again I like to buy a lot of you know hobby breakout boards to just play around with and communicate with you know with FPGAs or microcontrollers it's, um, it's a fun hobby of mine, but okay, so let's just break down into this So now you can see the contrast is light and You can see the voltage is set to uh, 5.41 or point point five half of a volt um, Another thing too. I wanted to show you is again You can see that this is kind of an extended period of time that it took to actually run through this process Let's say we're looking at 500 microseconds, and if you remember from one of my last videos, it was uh, it was only like two microseconds. And again, that's because of the uh, parallel to serial uh, conversion time frame differences. Let's go ahead and reset this, <clears throat> and more or less what we have here is we have a done line that's high, and you'll never really see the LED change because I mean the done line happens so quick it's you know it's within 400 microseconds I, we, we could change the code to, to show that but that would um, it's not really uh, that that's not really the response that I'm, I'm going with uh, you know I'm, I'm looking for a rising edge on a begin line and then basically the idea is to hold the um, is to hold the begin line high until it sees the uh, the done line go low. Once you've started the process, you can you don't have to drive the begin line high anymore. Um, but the begin line is set up for rising edge detection. Um, it, it more or less is using a, a shift register setup where you have this one single bit coming in, and um, the shift register it basically 
uh, triple samples and uh, it looks to make sure that let's say the last uh, bit in the shift register is a zero and the second to last is a one. That way you'd know that there's a rising edge. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go back down here to the switches and let's start to, let's start changing some values and let's uh, let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the begin line again. As you can see, we, we change voltages. So it's the exact same concept as, uh, as other videos I did, but instead we're doing an I2C-based digital-to-analog converter. So see the response time is pretty quick. And that's uh, high contrast, and you can see it more or less goes all the way down. So this is with all the switches set to zero. Uh, let's set them all to ones and let's see what happens. So with all these set high, we should see, uh, we should see the voltage go to 3.3. .3. And in fact it does, and the contrast goes to uh, um, lowest kind of, basically we're turning off the contrast at that voltage. Uh, again, another very fun project. Uh, next one I'm probably going to be doing is an ADC. Um, the idea will be to uh, take like a CDS cell as a voltage with a resistor and a voltage divider um, and basically track the ambient light and control the LCD based off of that. Uh, I just thought it would be a fun idea. Anyway, thanks for watching.